Hi, Cancer. It's L here to do your December 2020 general love reading. It is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you to those who already do so. Um, what we're going to do is pull a few cards for the past, the present, the advice, and the outcome if you take the advice of the cards. All right. Let's get into it, Cancer. All right. I'm going to have a drink of water. One second. Okay. Cancer. Okay, Cancer. In the past, let's see what you were dealing with. Oh, the card came right out. The Hierophant. All right. So... You may have felt like you were dealing with someone on your level um, of a like mind, um, a, a spiritual guide or a guru or someone that you could have like a traditional relationship or situation with or something. This person brought a lot of routine and regimen to your life. Um, could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, so in the past, you felt like you were dealing with someone who, you know, they were a like-minded individual who brought a lot of routine and regimen to your life. Just saw the Fool card. Could have been dealing with an Aries, an Aquarius, um, someone eccentric, someone who, you know, goes their own way, um, charts their own path. Okay, so... Presently, what's going on for cancer? In the present, what's going on for cancer? All right, let's see. Oh, okay, right now. All right, the five of pentacles. All right, so you could definitely be dealing with a Taurus person. Um, I don't know if, so in this love affair, because this is love, in this relationship, whatever it may be, um, you or the other person is feeling, of course, you know, left out in the cold. But there's also a lack of confidence that this relationship could really turn over or turn into anything worth having. Um, someone has just a lack of confidence here in terms of how they view the relationship. Um, someone has an impoverished mindset in terms of commitment, a traditional relationship. Uh, they don't view it in the best light. Um, they don't have confidence in the fact that they can do it. This could be you, Cancer. You could feel like, you know, um, being in a committed, solid relationship. I don't have a lot of confidence in that. A lot of confidence in myself in that type of relationship. Let's see what the advice is here. And, and this, it could be vice versa also. Okay. Let's see what the advice here is for you. Okay, the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so the advice is for you to share. You know, share how you're feeling. Um, be benevolent in your feelings, in your giving, um, but definitely in your sharing. Um, sharing in a in a situation. Also, okay, what they want you to do. Okay, so the advice here. It's for you to be very analytical, you know, in how you evaluate, you know, and the two factors that they would like for you to take into, you know, consideration when you evaluate uh, where you are or relationships or this person, that person is health and fitness. Does, is it healthy for you to be, you fill in the blank, it, does it fit in your life for you to be? whatever or with whomever um what sense of service are you giving giving to a particular dynamic relationship person place or thing um you see a relationship is not just about getting out of it you know what can i get out of this i can get some sex i can get some love i can get some money i can get some food you know it's about giving that's why in evaluate in evaluating 
um, this, they want you to take into account what, what sense of service can you get from this also. Uh, or you can give, excuse me. Um, so they really want you to um, really share. Something about sharing. And we're going to clarify. Um, the outcome, if you take the advice of the card. What's the outcome that Cancer takes the advice of? Right. So the outcome is the Moon card. All right. So the outcome to the so the bright side of the Moon, right, and not the dark side of the Moon. See that dark side. The bright side of the Moon is trying to get two very different energies to work together. Um, not on this card, but on most moon cards, you have the you have the um, the wild fox or wolf, and then you have the dog. So you have the the untamed and the tamed, and you can try to get in where you fit in, or you know you know you I don't, um, but it could be that the marrying of two energies, you know on two polar opposites because normally it would have the two pillars also on the side so it's just about um marrying that energy and um really identifying the fact that you have those lower vibrational energies within yourself but you're always going to rise to the occasion to kind of let the good overshadow or the light overshadow the dark excuse me the light overshadow the dark so um the outcome is just that they want you to start realizing that sometimes shit is sweet, sometimes shit is just sour, you know? And you gotta mix it all up together and say, well, I got more sweet than sour. That's life, that's relationship, that's business, that's everything. You know, it, it, uh, it rains on the just and the unjust. Um, there's good and there's bad. Uh, so what you seen a lot of the bad or you know, you were privy to this or that The beauty of free will is your life is what you make it So um, it looks like in the outcome the cards universe spirit God wants you to get over this hump of not really um, Acknowledging your feelings how you feel about a person, how you feel about situations, how you feel about tradition. We got this here on the, on the table, how you feel about sharing, how maybe um, things have been imbalanced or uh, there has been in inequality in relationship. They want you to really dig deep into your psyche. Um, you might have some, some mom issues too whether it's that you are a mom or you have issues with your own mom um, and your upbringing. Like you, everything needs to come to light because you keep overshadowing some emotions by suppressing them, acting as if they're not there. The moon card comes up when you have feelings for, you fill in the blank, but you suppress them. You don't acknowledge them. You ignore them. You move away from it. So that's what, uh, you know, spirit, God, angels want you to to um, get to that outcome, okay? Let's start clarifying. What is the Hierophant in the past for my cancers? The King of Pentacles. Okay. So maybe you have... What is this about? You, you could have had somebody who was willing... Could be Taurus. Could be Capricorn, too. And somebody was willing to make decisions that were good for the for the whole and not just for them decisions that were good for you them everybody involved this is a, a good steward of money this is a person who has money coming in could have been dealing with a wealthy individual a wealthy man woman well, this is a man um, This person may have not been as affectionate 
as you know or emotional as you want them to be but loyal and uh, practical and uh, a protector they are they were because this is the past give me one more card for the hierophant and the king of pentacles and this could be you cancer not exactly sure right now the prince of wands all right so we got two polar opposites we got the king and the knight okay the knight of wands um We got somebody who was very serious and loyal and committed and would have been devoted to, um, you know, maybe lavishing you with um, luxury. But then we also have an energy of someone who's in and out, off and on, hot and cold. Could be a Sagittarius person, could be a Leo, could be an Aries too. Um, We've got someone who makes passionate moves toward. They they go after their desire, uh, their desire, uh, state of being, place of being. They move how they want to move. Um, it's on a whim. It's it's fast acting. Um, it is selfish. The Knight of Wands is not making decisions actions for anybody but the knight of wands very interesting energy here all right one more card from the past the lovers all right so maybe you had a choice between the practical and the impractical and the and the sporadic you know um could be dealing with the Gemini. You felt like, okay, like this is a significant, was a significant relationship. I just heard same sex relationship. You felt like it was very significant. We got stars all over here. Maybe it was, you were dealing with an Aquarius person. Um, this was a significant union partnership where you felt a lot of devotion and intent intense emotions for this person yeah. and it could be sexual it could be that you at one time you felt a lot of energy of wanting to provide stability here um in the past but then presently we had the five of pentacles let's see what's going on the five of pentacles in the present five of pentacles in the present five of pentacles in the present the will of fortune. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, there was some significant change, and then in in, in in inevitable fate happened here. Um, destiny jumped in. In terms of maybe putting a halt to this relationship, something stopped, something changed to where somebody feels left out in the cold here. Um, I don't know if someone withdrew, with, yeah, withdrew their energy. Three of Pentacles. Um, someone was trying to get recognition, trying to get, um, you know, just just trying to work on the relationship three of swords yeah prince of cups like there was like a a breakdown in communication completely um there was also some surprise i don't know if if the surprise is that you know several different parties So there's a breakdown in communication. There's a breakdown in this relationship. It's a breakdown in creating. Like it stopped. 
and all, it, it was kind of all of a sudden. Um, but now it's like somebody wants to come back in the present and surprise uh, another party that you guys are separated from. I don't know if they want to surprise you or you them. Uh, you know, maybe we, I, I don't even know what this is. The Nine of Cups. Um, Nine of Cups. It might be a surprise apology. Um, coming back around and apologizing or doing the right thing. Uh, repaying the debt. Maybe this person did a lot for you or you learned a lot with this person. They were really guiding you spiritually or guiding you to just a better place mentally. Um, okay, so, or, or vice versa. You were doing this for them, okay? So the Six of Pentacles as the advice. What is this about? Sharing the hangman. All right. So you need to share your perspective on how you see things. Also, you need to give more to situations because this is this might be the reason why you're not getting the desired outcome that you want because of uh, maybe breadcrumbing or the lack of, of sharing, the lack of giving. Uh, or there's always like that, that, you know, giver and taker type of situation and it's not, you know, equal. It's not... Um, well, what can I do for you? Or what service can I provide for you? It's more of just gimme, gimme, gimme. I don't know. Um, you could be saying this about someone else. It could be a Piscean person. But someone's going to come in really fast. I just heard love bombing you. Um, or this is the advice for you. That you someone could be doing that to you. Or, or vice versa. You're doing this to someone else. Um, there, somebody is clued and locked in on you and talking to you and confronting you. This could be a, an Aquarius person. Um, could be anybody. Um, they want to give you your, their truth about him. Yeah, they want to talk to you about the jealousy, the greed, the problems, just the problems overall in this relationship. Um, the discontentment and the boredom and the, yeah, the missed opportunity here. Um, maybe for reconciliation. Um, that's your advice or that's the advice that maybe you go into someone and trying to speak to them you guys will clear the air, but it might be a missed opportunity for you. Um, the moon card and the outcome. The world. Okay. The eight of cups. The strength card. And two of cups. Alright. So. There might. Yeah. There needs to be an element of maturity. Completion. Fulfillment here. So you can go to the next level in life. Um, there might be a little bit of soul searching after this completion is, I don't know, it could be a breakup. It doesn't look like you guys are together, but it looks like there's a clearing of the air in order for both parties to kind of move on and heal and do their own thing. Okay, Eight of Cups. Um, whatever you were doing or are doing, it's not fulfilling you. And you may even walk away from that and try to refrain from that. You may even ask someone for forgiveness. Um, or this is what's heavy on your brain, on your heart, and your emotions. Maybe those emotions that you are suppressing or vice versa. This is some, what someone wants to do, you know, in regards to you. Ask for forgiveness. Could be a Leo person. They see that the relationship is mutually beneficial. That you guys at the core value system, it matches um, your priorities, your values, it matches your your hustle, your work ethic, all of that. You know, you just feel as if you found the perfect person or this is how they feel. But there's also a walking away from and someone trying to be strong in terms of asking for forgiveness and wanting to ask for compassion. Yeah, because it might be completely over for for another party. But then there's the other party. I don't know where you are. 
um, Cancer who's saying, well, it's not over for me, you know, um, or at least wanting to come back and ask for forgiveness. Let's see. Let's get some final messages here. Seven of Wands, stand your ground against the Knight of Wands. Could be Sagittarius. Um, yeah, because you might have newness coming in. Or, or this is saying that someone's going to stand their ground in terms of two of cups again at the bottom of the deck. Um, there's a lot of chemistry here. Like, it works on a surface level. And then we go beneath the surface and we got a whole bunch of problems. So I think that's what draws you two back together. I'm not seeing a whole bunch of outside interference. I do see somebody who, you know, they come and they go, the whim. They, you know, they come back, they leave, come back, leave, you know, so. But they want to make amends. They want to have a healthy in a wealthy marriage they want the opportunity to sever ties with the old and go into the new someone is saying that they have control over the light and the dark over the good and the bad they understand now this could be you cancer um this could be a cancer male also um someone is saying that they see the bigger picture now and they desire uh, to be here, to be with you. So I want to say that to you, Cancer, or vice versa. You're saying it to someone else. Because once again, someone is feeling like this is the perfect union, you know. A lot of sidestepping, though. You know? I, look, she's sidestepping. I want you back, but I'm not absolutely telling you. Um, maybe even playing mental games it's it's too much it's too much for me right now i'm going to close this reading out um yeah someone's missing the other five of cups but also looking at all of the bs that was the relationship and not knowing if they could be forgiven once again the two of cups the two of cups talks about Falling in love and forgiveness. So, I just don't know, you know. I don't know if this person will take you back, Cancer. Or Cancer, I don't know if you should take this person back. Um, there's a lot of love and likeness here. And there's a lot of chemistry. But you guys have some real serious issues. Uh, looks like in order for this to work, you're going to have to sit down with a mediator with a, a therapist, a counselor, maybe just initially, so that you guys can clear the air and then move forward. All right. This is what I'm saying. This is don't let pride get in the way. Some of you are dealing with a Leo, full moon and Leo. Okay. It says that luck is on your side, Sagittarius. You guys had Sagittarius show up a few times, new moon and Sagittarius. Um, and it's time to release negativity. Maybe you have some negative thoughts about committing, commitment, um, about traditional relationships. Right. And they want you to, to surrender to the divine because it looks like some, yeah, with the lovers here and the two of cups coming up at least two or three times, it looks like this relationship um, is divinely orchestrated. It's just about you surrendering to it. And they want you to know at the bottom of the deck, Cancer, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and Cancer. All right. Thank you, Cancer. If you feel like this reading resonated with you, go over to the website and book your own reading there. Take advantage of the coupon code for Cyber Monday. I will post that in the community section. Again, thanks. Thank you. Um, happy holidays, guys.